In this video, you'll learn how to sync WooCommerce orders with Google Sheets. If I place an order in WooCommerce, the order is synced to Google Sheets within a few seconds. Likewise, if I change the order status in Google Sheets, this change is automatically applied on the site. Similarly, by changing the status on the site, these changes are updated in Google Sheets as well. The Google Sheets file contains the columns ID, status, name, phone, billing address, total price, and date. In the products column, you can see the ordered products. If more than one product has been ordered, they are separated by commas. Let's get started. Go to Google Sheets and create a new spreadsheet. Give it a title, for example, the name of your store. From the extensions menu, click on Apps Script. Now go to the post whose link I've placed in the video description and copy my script. Return to your app script project, delete the existing code there, and paste the copied script into this section. Now you need to enter your store's details in the global variables section. Go to your store's dashboard. From the WooCommerce menu, select Settings. Go to the Advanced tab, then choose REST API. Click on Add Key. Fill in the description, select a user with appropriate permissions, and set the permissions to read, write. Click Generate API Key. Now we will copy these keys into our script. Also, copy your store's URL with the trailing slash here. Save the changes. Now we need to set up a new trigger. The job of this trigger is to send the order status from Google Sheets to our store. Click on triggers in the left sidebar. Click the add trigger button. In this window, under the choose which function to run section, select the on edit option. From the event type section, choose the on edit option. Click save. Here we need to give this app access to our Google account. Follow the authorization steps as I did. Great, our trigger has been created. Now, we need to deploy the app. Click on the deploy button and select new deployment. Click on the gear icon and choose web app. In the Execute the App As option, choose Me, and in the Who has access to the app section, select Anyone. Click Deploy. Copy the web app link somewhere. We'll use this link later. In the final step, we need to place a code in our store so that orders are automatically sent to Google Sheets. Copy this code. Return to your WordPress dashboard. If you are using a child theme, you can copy the code into the functions file of your child theme. If you don't have a child theme, you can use helper plugins like code snippets, just like I do. Install and activate this plugin. From the snippets menu, click on add new and paste the code you copied here. Give it a title. Now paste the link to your Google Apps script here. Finally, save and activate this snippet. That's it. Now go back to your Google Sheet and refresh it. From the Orders menu, click on Fetch Orders. This will fetch the last 10 orders from our store.
If I fetch orders one more time, it will fetch the next 10 orders and so on. Let's place an order in the store and check if it'll be added to our Google Sheets. You can see that the order I placed was instantly added to Google Sheets. If I change the status of the order in Google Sheets to canceled, this change will be instantly reflected on the website. Similarly, if I update the order status to completed in the store, this change will also be instantly applied in Google Sheets. That's all. It's done. Lastly, I'd like to thank these ladies and gentlemen. These are supporters of this channel and Dubby Cookie Plus members. If you would also like to support me and gain access to all of my code, please consider joining WP Cookie Plus. Take care and God bless.